I'm good to go. I I've my been. Hair. Ooh, I've been readier. And I've been more ready. I've been more prepared, but uh, never been as pretty. So, God, man, isn't that true? Yeah. Is that because men just we just look better as we age? You really, I've never been prettier. Man, maybe you've been prettier, but you've never been as good looking. No, I think I was on drugs real bad. That's but, true. You know, yeah. That was part of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, and the jaw clenching and moving all the time. That makes you hot, though. Because Kokak's yeah. got a real nice jawline. Nobody talks yeah, about that. Heroin chic is what they say. They call it. That's oh, cheekbones. That's where you don't oh. eat and you get the cheekbones. That's like, that's like Ozempic, but more fun. But I'm talking about Coke jaw. With the Kanye West, you know, the big fucking. There's something about uh, just tragedy that I think is sexy. Uh, a lot of a lot of people think it is. I think that's why you. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Why didn't I get more pussy? No, no. Yeah, you're not tragic enough. Oh, I thought I was, but okay. Yeah, that's just how it happens. It happens. Like that, sometimes I don't know. Yeah, are we started. If we clearly have ended. Oh yes. Where Where are you? Where are you right now? You just in the car? You're not. I'm in. I'm glad you asked. Um, you know, to answer that question, where am I at? How'd I get here? I think we have to really get into the skin and bones of who my father is. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm in Marietta, Georgia. Who Cobb County? Yeah. I'm all up in Cobb, and I've seen the Cobb County Sheriff's Department about 15 times. I, I guarantee you have. They have got the most fucked up this jail. Oh, my God. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, buddy, I guarantee it. The cop, there's more cop. That's a thing that's happened. There's way more cops. It's like all these little sheriff's departments are getting bigger budgets from the feds, and instead of paying more, they're just getting more people. By the way, I have my little boom boom stick. Mm -hmm. That's just that mint. Mm -hmm. I call it. I call it my mint mobile because it. I got in my eye, and I got mint in my eye right now, and I'm struggling a lot. Oh, no. Um. I am meant to do the Laughing Skull Comedy Festival. I will be at Laughing Skull Saturday and Sunday. This week in Atlanta, I'm also headlining the Lookout Comedy Festival. Friday in Chattanooga, so that's the show I'm really telling everybody to come to because that's one they're paying me for. Oh yeah. Um, I was driving down today. I must meet my buddy Joe, who I think will be on the podcast next week. Uh, Joe's a Palestinian American. I've been wanting to talk to him for a while. Joe's a brilliant comic out of L.A. who's originally from outside of Nashville. Um, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess not originally. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um. Hell yeah. Stoked on the way that. down here, I went to see where my show was tonight to see if it was close to the Airbnb I'm meeting Joe at. And it's in fucking Marietta. Dude, I almost called Ian Aver and dog cussed his ass. And not even because I was mad that for me, it's on my way. I just stopped I'm hanging out in Marietta. But I'm like, dude, imagine you're just, you just land on a plane from LA. You're 26 years old. You got nothing but a suitcase and a dream. And you're pretty sure the Laughing Skull Comedy Festival is going to break you. You're going to meet Netflix or whatever lie they told you to get you given their 50 bucks. And then your first show's in Marietta. For people who don't know, I'm 42-ish miles north of Atlanta, 50-some yeah. miles from the airport. This is a yeah. comedy festival where you're no one's getting paid. You can drive up Powers Ferry Road. I, I got this where I got a wrestling one too. Hell yeah. I'm going to go there. Well, yeah. <laughs> relive it yeah <laughs> yeah i'll do one yeah. of those uh live on the scene you know like when they go yeah. back to the place of tragedy yeah this is and this is where he murdered his girlfriend and her seven friends and his mother we're gonna go nah. there like, this is where they caught him with meth now anyway go ahead sorry no you go ahead sorry i that was neither here nor there just, uh, I, I mean i was memory. done i just think it's so funny 
maybe it's going to be all people who are nearby on this particular show. I think this is the only one here in Marietta from the whole festival. I just think it's so funny that as part of the Laughing Skull Atlanta Comedy Festival, it's funny for me to imagine someone having to Uber to Marietta, Georgia. Well, it's the Atlanta area, right? So you got like Andrew, you got you got Marietta, you got all these people that aren't Atlanta that claim to be part of Atlanta, but are the outskirts, like every all the places. But this I, is the... this is not Marietta claiming to be Atlanta. This is an Atlanta comedy club inviting a bunch of people to do their festival in Atlanta, and then they're claiming Marietta as Atlanta. That's a slightly different take, in my that opinion. Is, that is very different. You're right. You're right. But, I mean, again, for me, this was on the way down. I just was like, oh, I don't have to go into Atlanta during traffic. I'll just hang out here in Marietta, That's walk around. Right. Fine. Do yeah. wish I would have realized it earlier because I wouldn't even gotten in a room for the night. I just popped up to Chattanooga because I got to be there tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I'm doing Laughing Skull because I've been supposed to do Laughing Skull. I think this is the fourth time, and I'm finally getting to do it. Something has popped up every single time that I was supposed to do the Laughing Skull Comedy Festival. Tell us about your arrest and your stay at the Cobb County Jail. Well, what had happened was, uh, so we were running around being dumb, being, oh, yeah. being, being, being complete, being complete maroons, right? Mm. And uh, I had drugs on us, and uh, I was with a guy. He was barefoot. It was a whole, it was a whole mess of things that had happened that that uh, I'm not gonna get into. But basically, this guy had a 22 on him. Um. um the cops pulled up on a gun. Yeah, yeah, twenty two. Yeah, so, and I had drugs on me, but uh, he was carrying his shoes like, like in his hand, like this. Y'all were walking. And, yeah, he was walking barefoot. And uh, why were y'all walking? Uh, I, I'm going. Well, to the answer to that, we got to get into the skin and bones of who your father was. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Long story short, we got busted, but he had, you know, he tried to put a gun out of his shoe and like put his hands against the wall, and it was just, it was a bad idea. It was all a bad idea. He tried to like smooth play it. He tried to like, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't put that gun in my shoe. Like the like, that's so funny, mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, it's were so you stupid. were you guys fucked up at the time? Oh yeah, so fucked up. The, the things yeah. that go through your head when you're like the confidence you have just yeah dude yeah you, you you think like two or three thoughts that make sense yeah. like cops are dumb I just gotta act cool that's the best thing I can do and then no other thought after that man and then the third thought is like I'll put a I'll put a gun in my shoe right right and they'll never find me I'll put my I put a gun in my shoe I'll put my hands against the wall it won't be in my pocket you know what I'm saying uh, and I have my shoes in my hand, so they're not yep. going to check the shoes. Why would they check the shoes? My hands will be against the wall. Why right. would they check? Why do I have a gun on me? Why? Why are we just out here in the middle of night, early morning? Well, I don't even remember what we were walking for. Anyways, lost story were you, short. Were you guys doing uppers? Were you on meth? Of course. Well, that's why. I mean, that, you were walking it off, <laughs> dude. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I can't tell you how many times I used to, like, be going to work or whatever when I was living in my hometown. You know, it's like 7 a.m. You just, like, you see a dude who's, like, almost a shade of blue just walking yeah. up the street, skinny as fuck, sweating in October, you know? It's, like, 50 out. You're like, ah. yeah. well, he's, I bet he was happy a few hours ago, but he's yeah. miserable now. Yeah. He might, he's on a mission. He's got, he got one thing on his mind, getting the... Point B. Yeah. What is it though? What's what? What are we? Because it's not like food. That's the thing. Is like a lot of drugs. It's like, like booze is an obvious one. Weed is another one. It's like it's the end of the night. We gotta eat. What are you yes. doing on meth? Going to get what? more meth. Ah, uh, just, just <laughs> right. And nobody would give you a ride. Well, you don't so have you, a car. You don't know anybody who has a car. <laughs> so you walked. Nobody who would answer your phone call, especially at 6.30 in the morning. Dude. Yeah, right. Right. 
Uh, right. So you're out there burning calories, dude. Man, just that was that a, cardio in. Really? Get it in. It's good that for was your heart. Keep the blood going. The heart's already going, let's be real. I That was an old bit of mine yeah. about everyone talks shit on the South for having fat people, and we do, but we also, no one gives us credit. We got the skinniest dudes in jean shorts you ever fucking seen. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Just Olympic power walking up the street. Oh, yeah. Up in the mountain, too, they're always walking up hills, so they got big-ass calves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got little tiny <laughs> bubble butts. It's like they're <laughs> saying their butt's the strongest thing on them. Yeah. Women in L.A., white women are like, how do you get that? It's like, well, bitch, do meth and walk up hills. Yeah, what are you talking about? Move to the mountains. Man. Anyway. Hey, buddy. What? Yeah, man. What else you been up to? Nothing, dude. We got a little vacation that we've had planned for a while next week. It feels weird to go on vacation. It feels weird to promote your comedy. The world is so strange. Carmen's not here to talk us out of talking about it. Now, right? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't feel the need to say this like on my Instagram or whatever, but maybe I feel the need to say it to our list. It's like I do feel weird like sharing a dead body and then come to see me in Chattanooga. But it's like, I'm contractually obligated. Plus I do want people to come out, but it is a strange time to be alive. And I refuse to not share the dead body. At least not for that reason. It, it's just, um, I man, it's so weird to watch all this. You know what I mean? You just got it in your hand. Yep. And you're you know, like, for me, it's like, I mean, your son's right there. It's just such a, Oh, oh yeah. it's such a strange thing. And then yeah. and then just like there's the normal stuff too. I, I don't even know what your question was, bro. What did well, you think ask about me? this? Think about this. This is just chapter one. This is just the beginning. This doesn't end here. You just think it's, about like the Balkan Wars. Nobody ever talks about the Balkan Wars. <laughs> like no one ever talks about them. Dude, they went on for like, dude, you want to talk about some of the most oh, leading up to World War One? Yeah. It was like some of the most horrific violence known to man. Oh, I see. You're, You're saying this is the beginning. Oh yeah, dude. This I think this sure will be I don't I don't think this will last that long. It'll be quick one way or the other. Either people will finally get over it or like, you know, it'll it'll go quick. Boom. Mm-hmm. Boom quick. Okay. Um, no, I'm saying <laughs> big bombs. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think Hey, uh, I hope not. I mean honestly. It's weird to say, but a long, drawn-out thing is much preferable to a bunch of fucking nukes. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't uh, even know. I mean, if the nukes hit, that'll, that'll be over yonder. they just be nuking each other and just, you know, and that, yeah. which is bad. Which is bad. But like Over yonder, yonder where we get all of our oil, right yeah. up against so, where, like, right. the rice That's is gonna be the, Yep. 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 All <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's so bad. If the oh. dude, drop it on my forehead. Put the yep. laser here. Yeah. Explode it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, You're let's about not, mass let's inter- not. Go ahead. I was just talking about mass internment camps for like dissidents. Like, let's not I. do that. <laughs> let's not do that. They're not, I, I done told you. This is something DJ <laughs> talked about off mic a lot. I'm not cut out for the gulag for so many reasons health mental so you know all your friends is, will be there man. i know and i'll all be dead be i mean I'll my be real there. friends will have killed themselves with me <laughs> i'm gonna do it up now, i know Wait, you I'm are like, dude, dude <laughs> that will be you're, great. you're a good like dude dude <laughs> <laughs> you're, you you're, a, the you're a, are gonna give up their their fucking their goddamn whoppers and their mcdonald's oh, that's what we gonna work it's gonna be a totally different gulag than it was back in the day that's we, true we don't even have a siberian we're gonna be working We'll be you'll be sending us like ten years to fucking Burger King, fucking goddamn. <laughs> That's true. I, mean, I don't know, man. So I think I think that uh, the rebel factions in America will find out I sucked a dick once and shoot me anyway. <laughs> um, let's let's talk about more fun things for right now if we can, and maybe we can't. Uh, I got a vacation next week. Uh, going to a little music thing. I'm pumped about that. My mom's coming. 
she's gonna watch the kids so that's like gonna be a new weird experience we're gonna bring him for some of the time but obviously he just can't you know he can't keep up he's not a partier you know yeah uh, what else is new i've been working regular jobs and to all the people who've been doing that in their whole lives i've always known that i was lucky and blessed but like bless your hearts man jesus fucking christ this dude sent us an email the other day he said told us to stand down uh, i don't i don't know why but it it made me furious mm. all we do is read documents and organize them into an electronic so, pile and this dude's like right. stand down he, he, was, he was telling us to stop work right to wait on it's, further instruction but he just he talks like he's in the military and it, it made right. me want to die your job right let me get this right what you do yeah santa claus so fun can't do it yeah it takes a list right yeah. Right. so far so far <laughs> the most accurate anyone's ever been <laughs> so he takes a list okay he goes to joe biden right and then it goes to you you take all the poor kids yeah off the list <laughs> you you take, Secret. Uh, no Christmas for this one. No, no, no the other way around. The other way around. This is the naughty list. Oh. I go find out if they're poor, and then I just yeah. delete them from the naughty list. Just not, just all the way. Okay. But that's not my job. I'm doing that on the sly slide. <laughs> yeah. And then one goes to you, one goes to the fucking IDF. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. they get it. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This before before Santa, Honestly, Santa I didn't want to interrupt you. I didn't want to interrupt you. It has nothing to do with Biden. Straight no. to Netanyahu. Like straight yeah. to yeah, yeah. Like there's not even we don't even pretend anymore. We call him we call him Madam President. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I guess I have to tell people what I do and then tell people why you're doing this particular line of jokes. <laughs> what I do now is contract legal work um, in in an industry called document review. It's super boring. The quickest way to explain it is uh, by giving an example. A few years ago, Sony and Google were in a lawsuit. And as part of the discovery process, there were, I'm not saying it wrong, you didn't mishear me, eight billion electronic documents, emails and attachments and PDFs that had to be looked at by an attorney of some sort before they were given over to each side. Well, Google and Sony attorneys make $800 an hour, so they farmed that workout to people making less than that. And and that's an industry that exists. It's existed for a while. They talk about it on Breaking Bad. I do document review. DJ's making the jokes that he's making because my first job back after not doing it for years was for an Israeli security firm <laughs> who now only does tech work for like Microsoft and like they're in they're, they want to be San Francisco. They want to be American. They want to be white American so bad. It's insane. But the origin of the company was 100% the IDS. Like that is completely, I mean, they're not even, they're proud of it. Like that's right on the website. Like, if we were good enough to be cyber security for, you know, the Israeli army, we're good enough to be cyber security for you. And <laughs> I said, I'm working for this Israeli company to do like whatever. You guys have probably never heard of him. And DJ like, DJ, because he's all up in it. He was like, is it this company? And I was like, yeah, yeah. If you've heard of them, <laughs> does that mean they're really evil? And he's like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're really <laughs> evil. But to be very clear to everyone listening too. I do not actually work for them. It's like a temp agency that I work for, and that's just who's part of the lawsuit, just like I didn't work for Sony and Google years ago. Anyway. Yeah, and I there I think people like I think people put like 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 a lot of a lot of emphasis on like uh it when you, when you just said it reminded me of something that, you know, I was talking to my little buddy, uh who's the uh, going into the uh to the air force right and wants to help his life out better you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but he's got he's, confl he's conflicted real bad and i'm like man look here dude i'm like 
I'm not telling you, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but like sabotage is something that we've all got in us. No. <laughs> no. 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 For legal reasons, I've never sabotaged a document review project. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, man, if you could better your life and you could gain skills and then you could come out of this and then like, I mean, obviously, you could always be, like, a conscientious objector if it's something too gnarly. You know what I mean? But, like, I don't see... I don't see... I, I don't see any of us, like... We're all part of this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. I think it's actually a very interesting topic with, like, a lot more nuance, maybe, than some people want to act like. I, I struggle with it, honestly, man. Like... It, it's got, but like that stops somewhere, right? It's, it's like out stop somewhere. Like the the lack of responsibility. At some point, you are in fact responsible, right? So you are responsible. We're all responsible. We're all really responsible, man. I agree We're with that, good. but let me say it this way: I feel like I'm responsible for the state of police culture in america like that's i think like as a grown-up and a citizen it's my responsibility but if the, if my friend is like i'm gonna be a cop i'm gonna be like yeah look all like i'm done with you does that make sense it it, it it does it does it does but uh you know what uh I'm, we're also 40 in our 40s, and I don't know if I would say that same thing to a To an 19-year-old? I, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that, that completely. I 100% agree with that, buddy. Yeah. So. It, that's, uh, that reminds me of a conversation we had on Well Read years ago that I thought was a good conversation. Me and Trey got into a pretty heated argument about this really t exact thing about ICE. Mm -hmm. And Trey was like, oh, yeah. dude, you, 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 if you're in a border town, there's not a lot of jobs. You know, it's like guaranteed health care, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, dude, all that justifies going to work at us. This was there in the height of babies in cages. I was like, but if you walk in every day and there's babies in cages, yeah. and, and, and people taking pictures of the babies in cages and people laughing at the babies, like at some point, it changes, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Also, that's always like the, the fucking answer with people like working in prisons and working at stuff like that. And it's like, oh, there's no jobs. Or it's like, bro, anybody who can do that job for as many years as it would take to get some sort of like, dude, you've got to be, you've got to be out of your fucking mind. There's no way you can walk walk in there and watch these kids freezing to death, these fucking the 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 situation. I mean, you want to talk about it? Those are concentration camps out there, dude, it's, and they're privately owned too. This is the whole thing. But that whole situation is so fucked up. Anyways, I don't even want to get started talking about that. I, You're right. That whole situation is fucked. I agree. Specifically, I don't want to talk about that, but generally, it's an interesting question of like, you know. We were when we had that conversation, and, and I, I think I brought this up. At the time, we had just signed a deal with Comedy Central, owned mm. by Viacom, right? Who's like pure evil? Yeah. So you know, it is. It is just such a. I don't know, man. It's hell. Like I'm sorry. Like, it it is, but it isn't. It's hell to think about those things and to like process, and the fact that like Kroger has facial recognition software now and they're going to start no. spiking the prices and all no. that. But then at the same time, like it's never been better to be with the people you love. If you, if you can, if you're lucky enough to like have them around, it's never been a better time in history to just fucking dance with them. In my opinion, dude, like I really like, I, maybe it's like stupid for me to say, and I know some people don't have that, but like, I don't know, man, in my opinion, it's the greatest time to be alive in that regard. Well, I'm sure the people in the 60s would have something to think. I'm sure they would, but, I, you know, I don't know them. They all died. 
<laughs> the cool ones. People in the fifties doing a twist at the at the sock hop at the soda. At the I don't soda think that's shop. real. They would have. They would like to have a word. Drew. That's all AI. That never happened. God, what about that happening? There was never you know, a so, there was never a soda hop. Well, you know what? That's what I, I was talking. I was. That's interesting you say about the responsibility thing because like I was trying to talk to a friend of mine, an older friend who should know better, but don't. And uh, we we're having a conversation about what FEMA is. You know what I'm saying? And what they do, and what the real problem is, which is the real problem is coming is the second stage of all of these storms, which is the economic problem, right? Sure. And when, when, and yes, FEMA goes in when you hit the, when you hit the ground floor, like, you know, they lead out the, you know, they, it's bureaucracy. Hey, you guys go do this. We're going to make surveys of the damages, blah, 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 blah. And then that goes into statement. Like, okay. So, so like it's disaster equity, even though it is a bit of like, leading and helping and everything else it's disaster equity that is within the realms of what of what the state and then the county is allowed right so the county of uh so can up here you know they, they had some kind of like a grid uh building uh the the building code wasn't up in, in some kind of place anyways they lost millions of dollars and that FEMA, FEMA was plan. supposed to give them, but couldn't because of the what? building code. Yes, yes, yes. So, and you're talking about, and then it goes into like having houses and stuff like that with these people who have who have had several disasters now. You know what I'm saying? So like, so I and so that's one of those things about having responsibility and stuff. It's like, man, dude. Again, not oh. not not being like myopically pinpointed into like what the dumb stuff is and realizing what these what's what these what these places and what these institutions do you know what i'm saying what the what these uh, uh organizations do what your state's doing what your county is doing you know what i'm saying like it's 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 it, it really comes to, to you to know on a local level like i don't give a fuck about the goddamn election but I feel like being involved on a local level is extremely important. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. You got to know your neighbors. You got to know your neighbors. You got to know who's like handling, handling your tax money on a local level. Mm -hmm. Like what? Anyway, it's, it's, well, and going back to your point and then, and then like extrapolating that to a new one, it's like, that is, such a valid frustration with bureaucracy and FEMA, okay. you know, as opposed to you know, they're they what they're trying to do is run us off because they're gonna yeah. they're gonna condemn and this then, place and turn it into oh. some kind of gay kid fucking camp, right? And it drives me crazy because like a lot of like the ado about these people getting locked up for like whatever FEMA felt threatened or anything it was because a person made a Facebook post or whatever, and then they fucking, you know, then they started claiming, it's just fucked up, man. It's just, yeah. it's all, it's all convoluted. Like, it's all crazy. You well, know, and some man. of that bureaucracy stuff, that's the other thing, dude, is like, because of the way the bureaucracy stuff works and the contracts work, just as an example, FEMA has, this has absolutely happened, been like, we have jurisdiction here, those donated generators are ours, we'll dole them out. I, dude, I can totally see an old boy being like, well, "My God, hell, you will!" 100%. Like, I totally get that. It's just, it's just that the notion that that anyway, whatever, dude. We could, we could go on forever. It goes back to something we talked about before. Is like how close people get. I, I just, I love people to death. They just, they get so close. We've talked yeah. about it before with like Microsoft. Bill Gates has used his, uh, what you call it, nonprofit, in order to shape policy in the third world so he can keep child labor and yeah keep his chips cheap and you're oh, yeah. saying he wants to make me gay it's like you're so like you don't need to make him a cartoon villain he is i swear man and i swear that's the whole psyop man that's the whole psyop the psyop <laughs> okay. and the 
the psychological operation doesn't need it, it is is a smokescreen to like allow allow yeah. the lo the lowest common denominator to fucking steer the narrative and direct the discourse to where yeah. you are not you are not learning you're not learning about your local you don't you don't even most people you talk to really have no idea what FEMA does what whatever side of the aisle they are they don't understand like how or how that affects them yeah. or how like insurance and how insurance is involved the insurance company is directly in, like it's fuck it's a fuck it's a, it's we need a a, a a change in things that we'll never get just because just people are so we're so yeah. glued in because of, instead of being mad at the insurance companies for lobbying to make these right. things the way that they are, and instead of being mad at your politicians for allowing yes. it to happen and taking kickbacks yes. and taking bribes so that yes. only one company can sell the generators and blah, 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 we're, instead we're mad because they're fucking kids. On that note, here's here's my new conspiracy theory, oh, DJ. We're mad at this other dude. We're, all the, we're mad at this other dude. For believing that they're fucking kids instead of being mad at the motherfuckers who are telling them that they're fucking kids. Right. And like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad at the guy believing it. Well, that's fine. I mean, well, here's I my new conspiracy theory. Guy. I can't blame that guy. I can't here's blame my new conspiracy person. theory. Let me run it by you. This, this is on right, topic. They didn't fuck kids on Epstein Island. That just that was just that just was a distraction to get us mad, dog. They didn't fuck no kids there. There were no kids there. That's where the aliens live or something. I don't know what. I lost I lost it. In the middle I lost it. But I was cooking with Eden in the beginning. You gotta give me that. All right, all right. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. Uh man, you know Epstein went to like uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. That didn't matter. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. My whole thing is like I can't get mad at people for distrusting the government and right. for believing people and for and believing people who have the answers. It's like, hey man, what's that boy's name? What's that boy's name from England who goddamn who, who prays now with with Tucker Russell Carl? Brand? Yeah, he got an amulet. He, he got, got a, a special amulet. amulet. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give me the brand amulet, the brambulet. <laughs> brambulet. Yeah, man. Woo. I bet he stinks. Man, I I don't blame people for any of that. Where I start to get, we talked about it. You weren't on here. I was explaining to Carmen about the the blue, the blue goo the high. that falls out of the sky some places. It has something to do with cloud seeding. Mm -hmm. And how these people thought the hurricane, the government made it, you know? It's like... You know, I get mad at those people, dude. Whether it's fair or not, I'm like, no, I get that everything's scary and confusing and there's so much disinformation that you don't know where to turn. But if you arrived here, I'm a little mad at you because the rest of us, we're also confused, but we're trying to figure it out. We're not playing Marvel movie with our lives. We're not entertaining ourselves trying to get a dopamine drip on the internet with these bullshit. We're actually trying to either figure it out or at least help the people around us. Yeah, but man, a lot of these people believe that goddamn a man rode around in a boat with every animal and fucking. <laughs> yeah. They believe, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Dude, I do. What about in Kentucky? What about the, the, when the meat fell? When the, when the, when they say they're, they're during a, a a famine and a drought, and it was uh, I forget when it was. Uh, I want to say 1950 somewhere around there, and the meat was falling from the sky, and they kept on falling. But it, I had meat around, and it was eating the meat and stuff. But and, and they were like, God, ah, you know, and there's all these different theories. God was sending it to them and all this, but it ended up being vulture vomit. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, in that scenario, it's okay to believe it came from God because when you find out that it's vulture vomit and you've already ed it about four times, yes, yeah. in that scenario, it's okay to believe the dumb thing because you're not hurting anybody. All right, you're trying to hurt yourself. <laughs> and if you keep eating it, yes, but I just mean in an attempt to tell yourself you didn't eat the vomit. Oh, that's yeah. rough. Man, imagine being from Kentucky and then that happens to you. Yeah, dude. I, I can't I can't remember. It, it was like in the fifties, maybe forties, between forties and sixties, somewhere somewhere like that. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
it's hell Not right really. now, but it is the best time <laughs> to hug your people and dance because we don't have to eat vulture vomit and then tell ourselves it came from God. We yeah. can just eat the plastic burger from burger. It will kill us, but it's not vulture vomit. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I totally agree. I mean, I mean, I, I, you know, that's like part part of it. Like what you were saying, that's like you don't want to promote things. To things. It's like it's every day, man. I go and I just want to take a fish of a goat and upload it. And it's like, ah, oh, fuck, man. Like I personally know people who are living in a tent right now who are going to probably still be in a tent. When the fucking goddamn goddamn winter snows hit, and they're talking about it being goddamn gnarly all fucking winter. Like, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully within the next couple months so, they get out. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I don't. Well, I don't think you should feel bad. I think you should just put the coordinates to the goat so they'll know where to get food. <laughs> hey, you still I, I don't go. I think there should be, you know, a, a, a more train. I, I have, I have. No, nah, you should upload the goat, man. Yeah, you should upload the goat, right? Upload the goat. Mark, make a note. The name of this episode is Upload the Goat. Upload the goat. Look how perfect they're all being. Do you see him? There's Ooh. Camber. Right, Camber? No, I'm just out there just. I knew a girl named Camber. She was slutty. That's a slutty name. Oh, man, like, like fucking Beetlejuice or Candyman, dog. <laughs> we started talking about slutty girls. <laughs> yeah. Carl was like, where they at? Oh, no, it's cold as hell? Sound. Hi. Hey. hey. Is it cold as hell? Here? No, it's not that bad. It's nice. It's oh, like really? brisk, but not. It's like uh, yeah, brisk, but not cold. Hell yeah! I'll never. I'll never. Our weather. Way, on our way up to to uh to Minnesota, uh, it was it was in October, and uh, we stopped. Uh, it was later in October, and we stopped in Iowa for the night. And as soon as I got out of the car and felt that breeze, I was like, oh my god. This is like something I had that wind was something so like cut you in half. Like when people talk about that fucking. Yeah, it's a piercing I, cold. It's different. It's a different kind of. Yes, it is so <laughs> different. It's like, so it's... hard to get warm when you get that cold too. Oh my God. Oh, that damn cold where it like yeah. sticks to your bones oh. and you go, ah, that's how you get that shit, the shivers. You gotta, yeah. you gotta get hot. You cannot get warm. You have to go past what you're cold and you get in like a hot bath or something. And then you have to get hot. You have to get sweating hot to feel, to stop feeling cold. And then you yeah. get pneumonia and you go crazy and you murder your family. Yeah. I was going to say pneumonia just means you just got, you were a hit. You were a hit from a uh, Diddy. Diddy put a hit out on you. That's what pneumonia means. I what? forgot we had that conspiracy brewing up too because Carmen has been in on it. Me and DJ, we've obviously been talking about world conspiracies. I forgot we had Diddy to discuss. Oh, yeah, dude. Diddy's going down. He giving people pneumonia. Yeah, every every person that's trying to speak out against him in, in the history of Diddy dies of pneumonia. Aaliyah, he got a gun. He got a ex, well, he's also got a coroner in his back pocket. So, it, is it pneumonia or is it just sad that it's ammonia? How do you get the coroner on their case? They have to die in the right spot, I guess. No, they could just pot hire the the coroner. You can be a private for hire coroner. How do you think they all had the same court? How do you think that happens? How do you think Michael Jackson, like all of these famous celebrities have the same doctor that prescribe them all their good drugs? Doctor, I, mean, I get it. Doctor's different. You can go to your own out. doctor when you're alive. When you're a you medical die, examiner at the end of the day. Yeah, but most medical examiners work for the county. You're blowing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know how it works. I just know it was the same. Mysteriously, it was the same coroner all these times. Because what was his, his, his ex that would try to speak out against him, try to make a book about everything that he did? She died of pneumonia. Uh, Leah died of pneumonia. Um, there was like two other ones. All of them died of pneumonia. Not Biggie and Tupac. They didn't die of pneumonia. How, how deep is how deep is uh fucking Jay Z into all this shit? Is he deep into this? Oh, Jay Jay Z's right up there. Not only oh, that, yeah. not only that, but the reason the 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 theory is the reason Rihanna hasn't made music in eight years is because Beyonce won't let anybody be as big as her. What? And Why have they not killed not Taylor Swift? That one. Hmm. Because they didn't kill Taylor that's Swift. Not, that's not that's not R and B. That's not blood. That's not that we're not talking about black artists. That's different. Man, see, this is... <laughs> our people in the struggle need to stop letting the white man hold them down. Kill the white bitch. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of room. I mean, that's the other thing is, like, there. there's a whole thing about Jay-Z and Beyonce uh, being, like... <laughs> being the head of all of uh, the head of all of this, oh, yeah. being, I'm aware of that. Of one. With, with Diddy, and then also Beyonce. Um, you know, I mean, that's the whole thing with the kid. The kid that they they have is apparently not even hers. That was the the affair that he had, and then that woman died too, mysteriously of pneumonia. You're kidding me. Now, nope. if you're Rihanna and you got billions with a B, mm -hmm. why don't you just kill him back? What do you mean? Why don't you just kill them back? If if they're like, you keep putting music out, we're going to kill you. I'd just be like, bitch, I'll kill you first. You ain't got no coroner, though. Dude, you can get a coroner. Apparently, they're a dime a dozen. Hey, it's not that much money. It's the it's one not. coroner. Rihanna it's has coroner billions. For all these deaths. Rihanna has billions. Dude. Is that the I same She was a billionaire. I thought Beyonce was the billionaire. No, because her makeup line and shit like that. Rihanna's a billionaire, dude. Smarter Mark, Mark, look that up. Make sure I'm Mark, right. Yeah, Smarter Mark, check it out. Uh, what well, I didn't know about Jay Z. Well, that was Beyonce. part of the she left too and started focusing on the other things was so she could still she could still uh be she could still be in the industry without having to be yeah competing with with uh, Beyonce because that's the issue. Y'all think Rihanna could have gotten bigger than? Uh, think oh yeah, no question. She's a better singer. The Beyonce? I don't know about that. Yes. She might be a better uh, singer, but she's not a better artist from what I've seen so far. I mean, it, it, she might be paying off. You know, if she got a corner, she probably got a... I'm like, she's way more versatile, too. The problem is the people that like Beyonce won't hear... They won't hear another answer. Like she's yeah. the only one. I got to be honest with you. I like my life, so I think Beyonce is the best. I've been saying it. Jay Z's the goat. Anybody out there listening uh, from Rockefeller, I support Rihanna, uh, Beyonce. Carmen is who <laughs> shit talk. Carmen is shit talk. <laughs> Why are you trying to get me popped off? Like you, Why are you, you trying to get me popped her? off? Exactly. Why are you trying to get us popped off? Why are you trying to get gravy baby in it, dude? We're not even syndicated yet, and you're trying to get us pulled. <laughs> I ain't getting us pulled, man. They're all going down. Like, like Cat Williams said, they're all going down this year. He said like, that like 18 about. months ago. Jinx stop. Man, you know what's crazy? It's like how many different industries and how many different... January, by the way. Mm -hmm. And just like how many people and how many... Like we're talking about Mr. Beast, fucking all these different... Like like the the, like the mask is just, is just coming off, man. Not that I think it's going to matter. You know what I'm saying? They can whip up something in the lab, put it out there, that motherfucker eat from the trough fast. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Uh, but like just the thing with Mr. Beast, I don't know that one. No, he's he's a pure evil. P apparently, yes, very pure evil. Yeah, but uh, pretty pretty Which bad. Kind of? Like slave labor. Yeah, yelling at people, not paying yeah. them. Yeah, stealing ideas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's actually a a few leftist influencers influencers who have gotten deep in the slavery game uh, in their past and I guess stuff like that but I, I, we don't ask you that I was saying, man, there, there's no way it. to get to that point 
There's no way to get to that point of wealth without hurting people. There's just I no way. So. I think it breaks your brain too. And you probably get MK altered. Yeah. Like okay. before your first, uh, yeah. I was, was, you know, I love it when I'm about to agree with DJ and he keeps going. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. maybe. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just I was about to be like, fuck yeah. I've always thought, well, I haven't always thought that. I guess I can't <laughs> put the stamp on it with yeah, that. Yeah, the Jafar. They got the Jafar, the Cobra Cane come in there and goddamn yeah. get your eyes all down, lady, and fucking start whispering words in your ear. And goddamn, next thing you know, you've got fucking nine slaves. You don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> It goes back right. to it, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier, DJ, with like a nineteen year old going to the Air Force. You're like, yeah, yeah you don't know. I do, yeah. I've always thought like athletes can start off but, like you're you're just it's 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 one of the few objective things. Like a LeBron James is objectively or was for a long time better at basketball than everyone alive. Yeah. But then you think, yeah, but who made his shoes? So like but I don't think I don't think the LeBron, Dolly Parton thing we talked about before. Right. I, I think like, you right. get to a certain point where you're not making those decisions. Either that, or you don't. Either you don't know, or you just go. Uh, e e either you get them for this price, or you get them for this price, or just leave it over. And then they go, well, I'm gonna just leave it over. I don't I think, think Nike <laughs> gives you a choice. I think Nike says, "Do you want us to give you five hundred million dollars or not?" And, yes. they go, and then you go, well, I feel bad. And then they go, okay, but this is how the world is. Like, yeah. you're not creating this. This mm -hmm. is, this is, we're going to make these shoes. Can we put your name on them? Yeah. And that is, yeah. that's slightly grayer than Mr. Beast, like, literally locking people in rooms or whatever he did, you know? Yeah, uh -oh. which is also they, so funny because his whole angle is him giving away his money, which is not the trick, which is not really the case. No, DJ, I don't know what happened, buddy. Sound like your sound faded for us. Oh, is your hand covering the speaker again? You do that sometimes. I do. I haven't. They heard us. That's what it is. They heard us. It's either that or a slave. That's why they're trying to silence him. That slave goat got out and bit the wire. <laughs> Ow. Man, I don't know what you're saying. The video's clear, but the... Oh, but he's the, waving at us. I think he's going to go. Oh, okay, he's going to jump off and jump back on. Yeah, just rejoin. Just rejoin so we can hear you. Yes. No, no I can tell. I can tell by the look on his face he's not rejoining, dude. That dude... <laughs> That man was giving me the like, uh, I'm not, you're not going to slave labor me, dog. I don't get paid. <laughs> He's like, every month, Drew says, this is what it costs to make the podcast, every bit of our Patreon money. And that's true, actually. So go to patreon.com slash Patreon baby. Patreon.com slash gravy baby pod, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys already talk about what's gravy with you, though? No. I mean, okay. you know, we talked about conspiracies, so I think DJ covered it. <laughs> Give me something gravy. What do you feel good about? Uh, next week, I'm going on vacation. What? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about it. Where are you going? What you doing? We're going to Florida. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Did not read? Why are you going to Florida? Because <laughs> we, we like mess and telling people to suck our dicks, dude. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. We're going to Uluwain, which is in Live Oak, Spirit of the Swanee Music Park. Mm -hmm. So we're in that swampy part of Florida. We're going to meet up with some other books, hippies, and freaks. Nice. Uh, we're going camping. There's a festival at the end of the week. My mom's coming. I got her an Airbnb on a farm right beside where we're going to be. Nice. Uh, Rosie's going to be there. Me and Andy will be back and forth. I kind of expect Andy to stay with my mom most of the time and then just kind of drive mm -hmm. over and hang out with us. But that's fine. This is how you got to do it. You either got to stop partying or you got to adjust the party. So we yep. adjusted the party. Uh, but yeah, me and my buddy Brian, my best friend forever, we're driving down before everybody else flies in, setting up on a river. I'm going to, I was telling my friend earlier, uh, it, it's going to be a party that weekend, but I think I'm like looking forward to Tuesday the most, which is only Brian and I will be there. Mm -hmm. We're just going to like fart, you know? <laughs> just really make it smell like home before everybody yeah. else gets there 
Yeah, and I don't have to like worry about oh we drop something small, pick it up so my son doesn't die. You yeah. know, like the prospect of death being ever present in your life as a new parent is a bit tiresome, and I'm looking forward to having a couple <laughs> of days without that. A bit, <laughs> just a bit. Worth it, you know. But anyway, that's what's gravy for me is I'm going to your home state. To do something that I love, uh, which is listen to live music in a field. And yeah, which which part friends. of Florida are you going to be in? So it's called Live Oak. It, it's sort of in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know where Live Oak is. Okay, cool. I thought that was the name of the festival. My bad. But Live Oak, yeah, yeah I know where Live Oak is. Halloween is the name of the festival. Gotcha. And Not sponsored by the streaming service Hulu. No, this is String Cheese Incidents Independent, oh, wow. independent Music Festival. Oh yeah, this is so. This is real deep hippie shit right now. I mean, it That's is, but like, looks like Killer Mike's gonna be there. Looks like rap now. You know, we're gotcha. all we're with it, dude. Come on, I saw, <laughs> I saw Jin last time I was there. Like, it's gonna mm. be, it's gonna be. Now, don't don't get it twisted. Mm. Humphreys McGee's gonna be there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes. there's gonna be some people walking by asking me if I seen the Sandman with their fucking eyes big as stars or whatever. Like, I'm yes. into that. I've been wanting to do a thing. I don't want to say it out loud. I don't know why. Nobody who listens to this is going to steal it. This is a really good idea. I'm going to do a sketch this winter with my friends at home. Andy and I are going to play most of the parts. My friends are going to help us. Uh, mm. Wook Court. Got to take okay. people to Wook Court. And it's just, you know, my fucking... That's my bong. We were roommates. We bought it together, but you moved out. You don't get the bong stays with the apartment. Just dumb stuff like that. Oh, um, gotcha. Yeah. Gave we'll, you a ride we'll, to the we'll festival. Disputes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gave you a ride to the festival. You didn't give me any money. The bumper I'm sticker. I'm to some of your drugs. I mean, the I bumper just think sticker said ass, gas, or grass. That's a contract when you get in. <laughs> when you get in the van, it says it right there. <laughs> I got this idea of what I represented my friend at Bonnaroo Court. That was one of the funniest fucking days of my life. I've, I've been a public defender on and off for over a decade, and I've never seen anything like that at court. I've never seen Wait, the was white... real court? Are you talking yeah. about real court? Yeah. What happened at Bonnaroo Court? So Bonnaroo Docket is the day they do all the Bonnaroo arrests. Okay. And for the most part, it's just like people like my friend, like, ah, I was in my tent, cop came by, saw me with weed. But it's a fuck ton of wooks. It's the most wooks you'll ever see not at like a festival. outside of their habitat. <laughs> they all got like <laughs> lip rings and they tuck in their one black collared shirt mm-hmm. with their really thick belt with like fucking a chain wallet on it, you know, because they're going to court. <laughs> Carmen, it's so funny. It's so funny. I've been talking about it a little bit on stage. My favorite line is, I, I, in that moment, you do understand why some people become Republican. Like, if you look at this, <laughs> if you look at this scene, you're like, I don't know. I think we need Jesus and rules. I think we need that. <laughs> <laughs> there is such thing as too free. I, I, I changed right. my mind. Because, yeah, that's the thing. Conservatives think they like freedom. They ain't met a whoop. They ain't met a juggalo. <laughs> They ain't met somebody who's been like, uh, yeah, it's my mom's funeral this weekend, but man, I can't make it. My buddy got tickets. You know what I mean? Like, they, they ain't met nobody <laughs> that free. Yeah. But anyway. That's exciting. Uh, that's a good thing to be excited about and happy about. It's going to be fun. You're going to be you're gonna be combining your two worlds. Oh, yeah. Your dad dad world and Wook world. Oh, that was never going to keep them separate. You're going to be a whooped from home dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the professor joined us at the end of the podcast to drop a dime. All right, what's what's gravy for you? And then I got to go. I got shit I am, to do. Uh, I'm staying with my friend Greg in between, uh, Greg and, and his wife Julie in between gigs. And they have two small children. Uh, one of them is like one and the other one is like four. And um, man, it is, children are so great when they're not, when they're temporary. I love 100% it. 100% agree. Been, 
I am having the most fun ever. I'm jealous. <laughs> at one point, at one point, Julie goes, "Are you sure you don't have kids? Like you're so good with them." I go, "Yeah, because I'm not doing this all the time. Right. I would be exhausted right. <laughs> if I was doing this all the time." It go. I, that's why I'm a great auntie. I come in, I keep everybody distracted, I help with the dishes. I'm perfect for an aunt. That's the right amount of children for me to be to stay like this. If I had to watch oh, two kids I get it. all the time, no, 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 no. I no, said no, it no. for years that I was suited, more suited to be an uncle but for that reason. Mm -hmm. I agree with you yeah. completely. Some people have their own kids, and then they're like, "Well, I like my kids, but I don't like other people's kids." No, I still prefer other people's kids. <laughs> like, like my kids better than your kid, and I will put my kid <laughs> above your kid. But as far as like, what's a better day? I mean. It's hard because, like, obviously I love him so much. And I'm right. just completely head over heels, like, all the sappy bullshit. Mm -hmm. But it, it's so heavy. Mm -hmm. It's such a heavy, and I wouldn't get rid of it for the world. But as far as, like, the next two hours, what would you rather do? If I haven't seen him for a while, I'm choosing him. If I've been with him all day, I'm like, give me the other kids. Yeah. Especially if their parents are going to be there. Yeah. Then you just get to play. That's what I'm saying. I'm not thinking about when they need to eat. When was the last time? What temperature it is? I'm not thinking about any of the worrisome stuff. I'm just going, yeah, let's have a dance party. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, let's work on our shapes. Let's do it. Yeah, let's watch Paw Patrol. Let's do it. I can yes and all of their ridiculous desires yeah. because I don't have to worry about dinner. I don't yeah, have to like, worry Mommy about Mommy says else. no screen time after six. You're like, well, that bitch ain't here. <laughs> We're going to watch exactly. Tremors. You guys ever seen a PG-13 movie? Saddle up, fuckers. Exactly. This is going to blow your mind, I bet. It blew my mind. I can't. I can't wait. It's dark, but it's so like, yeah, and it's what you're talking about. A huge problem, apparently, at public pools mm -hmm. is if there's no lifeguard, is that kids drown while all the parents are around. Because, what? because all the parents consciously or subconsciously think the other parents are doing the job. It's what we were just talking about where I was like, I wish I was with other people's kids because then I can just have fun and fart and not worry about, you know, like I'm not the parent. Apparently a huge problem at pools is that the parents show up and they start getting on their phones and they all consciously or subconsciously have the thought, I don't need to watch. I'm safe here around all these other parents, but we're all doing that. And then the kids. I disagree, dude. I think that's only dumb parents. I think that's only dumb parents. There's, there's no way. There's all parents no... are dumb parents. All huh? parents are stupid. We don't, <laughs> we don't get sleep. We haven't eaten well in years. We decided to have kids during whatever this is. We're all stupid. <laughs> So, yeah, that is dumb parents, a.k.a. parents. You may know them from their prior work as parents. <laughs> That's wild. There's There would be no way. There would be no way. There would be no way I would not be thinking that. I would be in the pool. Well, that's the other thing, too, is I like a pool. So I would be in the pool. I'm in the pool. I'm an in-the-pool guy with my kids there. But Same. I've been but I've been with my nephews. I've definitely like had the thought. That's yeah, the, that's the thing is now my kid. I'm not watching out any for anybody else's kid. I'm watching out for my kid. But that's what you're supposed to do at the pool is you watch your own kid. You're not watching everybody else's kid. I, I feel like I'll be watching the whole pool. I feel like I'll be one of those dads. Oh yeah, you're 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 the lifeguard on Dewey. Young man, walk. I don't know you. Do you want to <laughs> get to know me? Do you want to know me? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this strange man is making me follow the rules. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and if your dad would get off his phone, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> All right, I gotta run, dude. I gotta okay do stuff. <laughs> Good hey, job. It was great seeing you. It's great seeing you too. I'm glad I got to jump in. Plug whatever you gotta plug. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm on the road currently. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm not in studio. Um, I will be uh, for, for October 24th. Um, 
I'll be in Eau Claire, Wisconsin at the plus one night only. And then for my birthday weekend, October 25 and 26, I will be at the Comedy Cabin in Janesville, Wisconsin. I will also be at the uh, Comedy Mothership on November 29th through December 1st. And I will be in Colorado in the first week of December, December 4, 5, 6, and 7 in various cities, including Vail, Eagle, Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, Denver, Colorado, a bunch of different places. CarmenMorales.com for all of your Carmen Morales needs and to purchase tickets. Also, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. We love you. Make sure you join patreon.com slash gravy baby pod. Keep our pod going because we love to do it for you. Love to do it. I will give you my son if you call Joe Rogan a pussy. <laughs> did I ever tell you about the time he showed me how to choke choke someone out and then I did it on him? And for a second when I had his fucking neck in my hand it took everything in me to actually tap when he tapped me dude i held it after he tapped i held it for a little just a couple extra seconds that's that testosterone dude that's that yep. fucking that's that devil that's on the shoulder he's gonna know <laughs> nobody will know but me oh, instantly famous I mean, by the way it was the thing I know, right? And for all the wrong reasons, but uh, for being a murderer. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And people who go to war are not called murderers if they kill the right people. I'm not saying I want Joe Rogan to die. I do not feel that way, genuinely. Yeah, I know. But also, this was pre-pandemic, so this was when everybody liked him. So, oh, cool, oh so you <laughs> could have saved us. This yes. is your time machine Hitler baby moment in your real yeah, life, I knew, dude. Yeah. Dude, somebody's papa would be alive right now, and they wouldn't have a horse pill, that Bill, if you had done the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, people ask me, what, what are my big regrets? Now we know. <laughs> now we know. It's that she touched Joe Rogan. Um, <laughs> I, no, I, honestly, dude, he's nuts, and just like every rich guy. Like we were talking oh, about. Oh, man, off the pod, I can't wait to tell you. Uh, I can't wait. To, uh, Chad, uh, one of our favorites, uh, oh. did a podcast shortly after he did Rogan, and all this juicy stuff was had to get edited out, and I know what the juicy stuff is, and I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I can't wait, I dude. I sent Chad yeah. a drunken, sappy message, and he doesn't follow me, so he never saw it. And the next day, I was like, I kind of hope he never sees that. You can always uh, un unsend it if it's really that bad. Oh, really? I yeah. don't know if you can. Oh, maybe you can. You I, can. I, I, even if you don't know? Okay. Um, I don't think you can. because I, You because absolutely you, can. I've done it. Even if it's somebody you don't follow? Yes. Because I feel like I tried it. Is, you can always, if they haven't seen the message yet, you can unsend it. Is that why I won't? Is that you why try I to unsend it already? I feel like I did, and it said this is like an invitation because we had never spoken, oh. so it was like an invitation to speak. Because he is a, it doesn't matter. We'll get, we'll get into okay. this off mic. This is all okay. <laughs> Guys, let, thanks so much for listening. Let me plug we love my you. stuff. Okay, plug your stuff. Plug your stuff. I'll be in Raleigh. Chattanooga Friday Chattanooga. the 18th, what I mean. which I think is tonight, whenever this comes out. Um, Chattanooga the 18th, Atlanta the next night as part of the Laughing School Comedy Festival. That's a showcase show. Uh, I don't make any money, but if you're around Atlanta, come out and see us. I'm on the 5 o'clock show um, Saturday. I think I'm on the 7 o'clock show Sunday. I am in Bristol at our buddy Sean's Club, November 8th and 9th. Um, I've been working on DJ, trying to get him to agree to come. I'm going to be in St. Augustine, Florida, November 23rd. I'm going to be in at Zany's December 12th through the 14th. I think it is. It's well read. Those are my dates. Y'all are my people. Love you guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next week. You could stick a whole ribeye in one of your back pockets. <laughs> like.